48 is considered a young age, isn't it, for prostate yes. cancer? You got tested early. It's a very controversial subject, the PSA test. But right. the PSA test is the only early screener for prostate cancer. And right now, the United States Preventative Services Task Force does not recommend to take the test. Uh, I think American Cancer Society says you should discuss it at 50. If I hadn't gotten the test, at my, my doctor started giving it to me at about 46. Right. I would not have known. And right now, I still wouldn't have known. So do you think everyone should get that PSA test in their 40s? I do, personally. Right. In terms of the recommendation, I think everybody should discuss it with their doctor and should have the opportunity to discuss it with their doctor. And that's why I think the U.S. Preventative Services Task Force should change their guideline and recommend that people... You agree with that, Doc? It. I do, yeah. The first PSA test after the surgery came in good. Yep. And then that was, like, good. But then there's another PSA test, what, like, about a month after? Mm-hmm. Isn't that kind of like your first, yeah. like, real all month? How three, accurate is the yeah, PSA test? Months. Super, super, super accurate. accurate. Yeah. Yeah. So I saved my little Tweety Bird Band-Aid that, you know, for my blood <laughs> test. Yeah. And I, you know, and I put it in a little book just to remember how great I felt when I got that first, you know, three-month clear. And but, now you felt comfortable enough two years later to say, hey, I went through this and things are normal. Yeah. I wanted to talk about it because of the test, because I feel like the test saved my life. Well, I'm glad you're alive. Thank you, man. Because that shit is nothing to be screwed yep. with. And guys, get that PSA test. I'm uh, actually I'm having my doctor meet me here in 10 minutes. <laughs> <Right>. to <give laughs> <it to me. laughs>